hello tybs student friends in our third previous video on the topic communication skill we discussed three steps involved in the process of communication the first step we discussed was ideation the second step encoding and the third step channel now in this video we are going to discuss the two remaining steps involved in the process of communication these two steps are decoding and feedback the fourth step and the fifth step involved in the process of communication is decoding and feedback friends decoding once the message is received by the receiver once the message is received by the receiver the receiver has to understand the original idea here the receiver or the listener has to understand the original idea for this the receiver will decode the message for this for understanding the original idea behind the message or the original idea of the message uh, by the sender is to be understood or it is supposed to be decoded by the receiver so the receiver will decode the message receiver will try to understand the message accurate uh, accurate and effective communication can occur only when both the sender and the receiver attach the same or similar meanings to the symbols in the encoded and the decoded messages this is very important as far as sender and receiver is concerned on behalf of or from the side of uh, uh, sender and from the side of receiver two things are important the accuracy is very important and the proper understanding or the proper decoding of the message is very important from the side of receiver accurate and effective communication can take place or is possible only when both the sender and the receiver or we can say speaker or the listener at as the same at as the very same and similar meanings uh, to the symbols or signs uh, they are using or the symbols in the encoded and the decoded messages if this similarity is taking place between uh, this encoding and decoding between sender and receiver then only a proper message can be uh, received by the receiver or the correct meaning of the message uh, will be construed by the uh, receiver fifth step uh, dear friends uh, involved in the process of communication that is the fifth and the last step that is feedback for the process of communication to be complete for completing the process of communication the sender has to receive a response from the receiver a sender has to receive or the speaker has to receive a response response from the listener which is called feedback the response which speaker receives from listener or sender receives from the receiver feedback that is called feedback in this step the receiver relays information back to the sender in this step of feedback uh, their roles are actually reversed their roles are reversed it means sender becomes receiver and 
receiver becomes sender it is something like turn taking first sender sends the message and receiver receives the message uh, receiver in the fifth process of feedback the receiver becomes here sender and sender becomes here a receiver this is like a turn taking process uh, this is the most essential step in the entire communication process because it completes the cycle of communication without feedback the cycle of the communication or the process of the communication is incomplete for the completion of the process of communication receiver is supposed to send the feedback to receiver uh, sender if sender does not receive feedback from receiver the process will not be completed so that is why feedback is very important in the process of communication dear friends we have discussed uh, the process of communication and the five steps involved in the process the first step ideation second step encoding third step channel fourth step decoding fifth step feedback ideation it refers to the idea or uh, idea or thought in the mind of sender or sender's idea it is ideation encoding encoding is called what it is sender's idea when it is converted into a message it becomes encoding when sender's idea is converted into a message it becomes encoding channel means what it is a kind of medium channel means medium through which message is sent it may be spoken written electrical or digital channel decoding is what once the message is received by the receiver the receiver has to understand the original idea this is called decoding the message or this is decoding in feedback feedback is given by a receiver of the message to the sender of the message so friends we discuss five steps involved in the process of communication in our next video we will be discussing verbal and non verbal communication thank you very much for watching this video